after I finished the build of the Dutch chest in 2016, in 2017, I built a chest of drawers, a little trunk of drawers. So I wanted some, some drawers. I had seen a lot of wall chests, standing, uh, stacked chests, uh, and other storage systems that had drawers. And so I wanted something with drawers. I also wanted something that had a repetitive um, skill practice in it. And so this one does. Uh, it's got 18 boxes that require dovetails. And so uh, that was another reason I got into this project. And so what you see here are six drawers that feature paintings of the leaves of some of the uh, woods that I work with. Things like oak, pine, maple, and some others. And then over here on this door, we have a picture of a tree uh, to remind us where the wood comes from. This is not something that is produced by man, but it's actually something found in nature. And so it kind of helps to remind me uh, what this all starts with. And so the drawers have different things in them. Uh, we have things like tacks, uh, some small squares, knives, marking knives, that sort of thing. Um, this one is a first aid kit, which is always very important. So I have band-aids close, close at hand. Uh, if I cut myself on a chisel or something else. This drawer has sort of just some miscellaneous items. Um, I do have some clamps down there. It's sort of assembly uh, drawer with small clamps and brushes for applying glue. This is all um, sharpening equipment. Uh, so we have honing, uh, ferritous honing uh, pieces, as well as a small diamond stone. And we have some more miscellaneous tools, a folding rule. So the mallet, this is actually a crab mallet that I bought at a kitchen supply store, uh, but it has a lot of good uses in woodworking, and that's what it's used for. Um, for carving, that sort of thing. I actually bought two, one for here and one for work. So, another thing to keep in here. Now, you probably noticed I went around this drawer right here. This drawer holds wood screws, different sizes. And inside are actually uh, boxes that themselves are dovetail items. So we have uh, boxes that have wood screws inside, and they probably can't see it, but they actually have the size. This is a number eight, three quarter inch screw. Uh, and we have different ones like that. Uh, these are actually made out of plywood, uh, but you could still do dovetails on a plywood uh, piece. Uh, this is quarter inch plywood. And so I have six of these different sizes uh, to accommodate the largest one did not want to come out. That's this one. And this is four uh, inch and five eighths. So this allows me an easy access to the wood screws in here. And so I can get to them when I'm working on my project. Uh, one of the things that's uh, part of the woodworking that I enjoy doing is uh, developing as well as copying or reproducing uh, components from other pieces of furniture that involve hidden compartments, secret drawers, that sort of thing. And so <clears throat> what goes on over here with this panel or this door is something that comes straight from a Philadelphia secretary in a museum or a desk and bookcase, uh, where the desk section in the middle has a door. And inside the door, you'll see what there is, because I have reproduced it here. Inside <clears throat> the screw drawer, we have the key. And the key opens the door. Inside, we have three drawers. Three drawers is not odd, it's normal. <clears throat> Drawers that hold things. 
Right now, this doesn't have anything, but it will at some point. Up here, I have a lot of fasteners, um, hook and eye, uh, small hinges, things for small jewelry boxes, or some of the small puzzle boxes that I've been creating recently. Now, this bottom drawer comes out. It has some items. And if you notice, it's actually shorter than the other drawers above it. Back behind uh, this drawer, there is a device, a device that will get us beyond it. Now on the secretary that I mentioned before, that actually had some sliders underneath the two uh, drawer panels. Uh, but I don't work at that kind of scale. So what I did instead is I put a little slot in the back, pull that, and the whole thing comes out. So what you see is this thing. Now way in the back, I have the secret drawers, just like on the secretary that I talked about, or the desk and bookcase. Uh, now, secret drawers <clears throat> on mine have a string. But I've actually, I've drilled a little hole and then through the hole I've knotted it on one end, knotted one side and knotted on the other. Now, <clears throat> on the original uh, secret drawer, there would have been a, like a, a little ribbon, a little satin ribbon, cloth ribbon, which over time is probably lost and could have been replaced by a string, by a restorer or someone who owned the piece. Um, <clears throat> but for our purposes, I'm not going to go by satin um, to do this. And I should also note on the original piece, the satin um, tag or ribbon would have been attached probably with uh, hide glue, animal hide glue or something like that. They wouldn't have drilled through the piece. Uh, that may have been a, a later thing. Um, and you find this not only on the drawers for something like <clears throat> a desk and bookcase, but you would also find it on uh, a men's uh, grooming case. I've seen it on those. Uh, I've seen it on um, ladies' dressing tables uh, or anything else where a drawer or a box needs to be pulled out or pulled up. Uh, they'll put something like that on there. Now, these drawers are, this is actually a combination. This is actually a piece of poplar and this is a piece of um, quarter inch plywood. Uh, but still dovetailed together and uh, arranged for use here. Some construction notes to note about the chest of drawers. Uh, the carcass is made of pine, car um, dovetailed together, just like the Dutch chest was. Uh, the, these separate, the divider separators are actually plywood. There's some wood in there, some pine in there. This is a very raw build, nothing classy or professional about it. It was just materials that I had uh, that fit the bill, that could be used for this process. The drawers are made of poplar. Uh, I did use poplar for this. Uh, and then the bottoms have quarter, eighth inch or quarter inch uh, plywood for the bottom. And then the fronts, I applied a clear shellac uh, so that I could then paint, acrylic paint. Uh, the, all of the leaves are acrylic painted on. Additional to that, the door is poplar, and then the drawers inside are also poplar. Even the box uh, that you saw that came out, that was also um, made of poplar. And then, as I said, the drawers inside and the shelves that held up those drawers were all made with quarter inch plywood because it's in the back. And just like on an 18th century secretary, it doesn't need, to, it's not gonna be shown. It doesn't need to be uh, high quality stuff. It just needs to be put together and out of sight because the only one that needs to know about it is the owner, not the person going in it later on.
Like the Dutch chest, the chest of drawers also features a handle. <clears throat> and so this allows me to pull it around the shop, to pick it up, put it somewhere else, uh, makes it very portable. And everything in this shop, as I'll show in later videos, needs to be portable. And I'll show why in future videos. So that is my chest of drawers, and I hope you enjoyed it.